And then my phone rings. <sighs> Hello? Hey, how you doing? Who is this? Your girl. Look, um, which one? How come you ever wrote a poem about me? <laughs> Affectionately igniting imagination with the sight of perfection is where she is. With the glimmer light of sunset horizons, spring rain on lips, sweet cream smiles, brown sugar fingertips is where she is. She inspired me to be a better man. How to build with my heart and not destroy it with my hands. She comforts me with these soft, gentle hands where the wounded king needs and there's deception among his land. She's a true entity of beauty that harvests a heartbeat. My love for her drowns me internally. As I gasp for air, all I can do is exhale her name. She's been dipped in this karma, completely complex, so sweet in comparison. When she kisses my face, I get a toothache. Finer than fine. So fine that blind men attain sight off the presence of her reflection. When she speaks, not words, only harmonic melody. She lingers this enduring scent that only the sweetest African flower can emulate. My lady, I pour into her what she pours into me. Call me what you will. She's a woman of all things, a leader amongst kings, and a mold for being a queen. Her mind intermingled and intertwined. Her pain is mine, I can't lie. I love her. So why are you other brothers trying to quench your thirst? I only need one lady, and she call, we always come first. You can take this as a poem or a best heard verse. Call it what you will. I'll take the worst for worse. See, there's no more living out of order. Run around sipping on other women's water. The finest thing in my life keeping me in order. The best thing in my life, my lady, my daughter. Yeah.